Uh, probably shouldn't be drinking anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to another Ooh Yeah video. Today, today, this glorious day, let's look at the Vista Blue. Vista Blue Project PC, BC. So, here we are. Yes, so here we are. I trudge through the thickening layer of soft, crumbly snow that has been growing on the station platform. Growing. Okay, it's going at its own speed. I can't seem to make it go any faster. Or can I? The biting cold of the sharp evening breeze stings my cheek. A recently kindled knitted scarf safeguards my neck from the cold, and my mittens keep my hands warm. But my face is vulnerable against the merciless December wind. Conductor, last boarding call for Mobile Limited. Fearing that I might be left behind, I dash towards the conductor. Behind me, the wheels of my luggage draws a line in the tracing my path through the snow. I thrust my crumpled ticket into his hand, into the hand of the conductor. He glances at it and then at me and smiles. Hurry aboard, then. You got quite a trip ahead of you. I thank the conductor and climb aboard the train. The car is pretty crowded, but it's not the one I'm assigned to. Hopefully mine is less stuffy. Mm, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, that feels good. Itching my uh, beard. Mm, yes, you don't want to be on a crowded train, a crowded bus, crowded anything. It Too many people together get stuffy and smells. I shove my way through down the car, uh, center aisle, waving between people who are in the process of storing the luggage. As I get my suitcase, as I go, my suitcase keeps smacking into people, but it's their own fault for standing in the aisle. Yeah, if you've ever been on an airplane loading, yeah, you get the fuck, get in your seat so I could sit down for five hours and do nothing. I, then again, why are we in a hurry? We're going to be sitting on a plane for three hours. Uh, enjoy standing. Finally, I managed to tear through the crowd and make it to the door. Excuse me, conducting this, connecting this car to the one ahead of it. Mm. <clears throat> Not a good, uh, oof, yeah, excuse me. Not a good thing to drink mm. while trying to do voice work. <clears throat> yes, yes, finally you make it. As soon as I open the door, the train starts moving. Then suddenly the movement ceases. Uh, causes, oh, excuse me. The movement causes me to lurch forward, cut up. Cut unprepared, like I am with English, I tumble into the next car and plant my face on the door of the center aisle. On the floor. Floor of the center aisle. How did I get past English 101? Thanks for the warning, bastard. I climb to my feet, expecting to hear someone chuckle at how dumb I must look of how I must look, but no one laughs because there's no one else in the car. Sweet, get it to yourself, man. Get a nice aisle. Hell, you could lay down. You know, use the uh, left two seats for your head, the bottom two seats. Yeah, just gotta watch out for the stewardess or whatever they call it on the train. Question mark? Huh? Yeah, that's it. The, huh? Come on. I did the sound effect. Let's move on. What am I doing? Oh, I'm not pushing the wrong button. I don't think. I'm a bit lost at controls here. That's uh, that's strange. Passengers were packed in the last car like sardines. Am I really the only passenger assigned to this car? Then again, it's not strange now that I think about it. I'm 
riding until the end of the route. So maybe we'll be organizing by destination. Maybe we've been organized by destination. Never happens. They, it doesn't matter. They load you in randomly. They exit you randomly. I guess no one else is going to be stuck on here all night like me. So it's just going to be you all by yourself. Might as well get comfortable, take off your clothes. Oh well, all the better for me. I wouldn't have dealt with kids blaring their music and their hip-hop and their dubs and their wubs. Uh, couples arguing in a language I don't understand or babies crying all night long. I can just take a seat, relax, and enjoy the ride. Wub, 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 wub. Sorry. Send currently the aisle it doesn't look like anyone else is in the car i could take a nap in my compartment or check out the door to the next car compartment this looks like seats you mean you actually have in a cart if you have a, con a compartment see when i think compartment i think of i took a train once in europe where you actually had a place to sleep even though i don't remember sleeping much then again we were uh, 18 and allowed to drink legally so there wasn't a lot of sleeping Okay, what should I do? Uh, go to my compartment, go to the next car, look out the window. Hmm, 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 hmm. I kind of want to go to my compartment. I have good fortune of being by myself, but I, what's in the next car? What's behind door number three? Do I want to keep it or keep the prize or do I risk it? Look out the window. Okay. There you go. So I'm holding up. I'm taking a drink. Closing my eyes. <clears throat> now I finished with the drink. I haven't opened my eyes yet. Look out the window. That's what I'm doing. I can't see very far out the window since it's dark and kind of foggy out. In the far distance... I can make out a hazy glow of city lights flickering in and out of existence as six thick curtains of snow fly past. Okay. I won't be arriving until sundown tomorrow. There's still a long way to go until we... until we're reunited. Ooh. Reunited and it feels so good. Reunited as is understood There's some lyrics here that I tend to forget Cause we're reunited, hey Anyways, it doesn't look like anyone else is in the car I could take it, okay, this is the same setup So I did the look at the window, okay If I do that again, does it seem the same thing? Um, let's go to my compartment See, you have your own bed I um, mainly have to share it with a couple others. That was a nice thing. With me, it was just a couple of high school friends. It was co-ed, but pff, like I would ever have any shot. Uh, I slid open the door to my compartment. It's not very big, but very big on the inside, but it's cozy. There are two beds, but since it doesn't seem to be anyone else in the car, I wouldn't feel bad about tossing my luggage on the second one. I hop onto the bed and sprawl out with a sigh of relief at the long-awaited opportunity to relax. I stare up at the idly rocking ceiling. Okay. Now that the stress of catching the train has subsided, oh, that, I know how that feels, my mind has been free to think about other things, like my destination and how long it's going to be, how long it's going to take to get there. That's usually quite depressing thought. And who's going to be waiting for me when I do? Dot, dot, dot. The distance between us is unreal. Excuse me. It's the distance so vast that I can only find it. Wait, wait. It's the distance so vast that I can only find a chance to cross it during the holidays. I adjust my mic there for a second. Uh, excuse me. The train <clears throat> hustles ever onward down the tracks. Each time I breathe. <clears throat> That doesn't happen each time I breathe, that's just the whiskey, excuse me. The distance between us has become that much smaller. As I lie here, I wonder how many breaths I must breaths 
I must take until we're together. Jeez, breath, breath. But no matter how much I try to will any, well, no matter how much I try to will away the distance, there's nothing I can do to accelerate the flow of time. My painful awareness of this passage makes me all more, more con, I have actually never seen that word before. Uh, not only that, my eyesight's getting worse. Con, zint, cousin it, co, co, I know the word, I can't pronounce it. I have a speech impediment. I'm sorry, sometimes I get stuck on words. Cognit, cog, cog, I ah, fudge it, of how tr torturously slow it is. Cog, I know the word, I just get hung up and I can't pronounce it for the longest time, like Parmesan. I would have the hardest time pronouncing it. Cogs, I, I know the word, I just can't pronounce it for the life of me today. Like Nilesy. That one time in the video, I couldn't pronounce Nilesy. Uh, the more I yearn, the more strongly I wish to be by your side. By the side of the person... Oh, see, I got ahead of myself. Uh, which was by the side of most important to me. And the more aware I become of how far away I still am. Give it a rest, I say to myself. From the way I anxiously kick my feet back and forth, and how I roll around on the bed. You think I'm in a middle school or love sick over the f their first crust. Normally, I'm good about not letting the distance between us bother me. But when the time finally came, comes for us to be together, I fall to pieces. I'm, I'm totally helpless. This time, it's a little different though. This time, the anticipation is a company, uh, a combined by something else. A vague sense of apprehension that has been burrowing away inside my heart. Escaping by notice by, escaping my notice by digging tunnels through my soul. Very deep, man. Each time I notice the the fleeting feeling vanishes, leaving a fresh hole in its wake. This time, I'm sure I caught it. But just like that, it, it, it's gone again. Dot, dot, dot. Well, there's no use worrying about it now. I guess I'll find something to do to pass the time. Currently, my compartment. What should I do? Go into the aisle. Take a nap. Look out the window. Let's go back outside. Because apparently you can't take a nap. Mm, doesn't look like anyone else is in the car. I could take a nap. What should I do? Mm-hmm. Okay, go to your next car. I open the door, dividing this car from the next and stepping through the vestibule. Instead of individual seat, this car is lined with booths and tables. There's also a couple of vending machines towards the front and the uh, door, and a door at the far end. This must be the lounge car. There doesn't seem to be anyone else here. And that's actually pretty weird considering how packed up one place is. There should be people here escaping it, getting food, uh, complaining about there only being uh, granola bars left in the vending machine. What should I do? Uh, go to previous car, buy a soda, go to the door. Soda's not good for you, but then again, what am I drinking? Cherry, Pepsi, and whiskey. And not only that, Fireball. I mean, I'm just a complete wuss today. Mm. But it tastes so good. Uh, this is... Where's my coaster? There it is. This is where I'll be disembarking when the train pulls into my station. But we're not there yet. There's also an emergency brake next to the door. Ooh, can I pull it? Can I pull it? Currently, exit. Go back to lounge. 
Alright, I'm currently in the round. So some vending machines. What should I do? Uh, solve a puzzle. Fine, let's buy a soda machine. I stick a couple quarters into the vending machine and buy a cola. That shows, uh, and the funny thing is that probably be what was on the um, train is some generic cola, you know. Then again, I grew up off that stuff. Uh, what was that? My, uh, Mountain Lightning from Walmart. Oh, I'm pretty sure that stuff was just pure chemicals. Oh, but it was delicious. I used to drink that like water. Shows you how healthy I was.